Hey guys, it's Hayden here making another video. Today I want to share with you guys what I've learned in the past two months doing the Wim Hof method and how it's improved my life and well-being. As always, I want to make sure I thank my supporters, thank my subscribers for supporting me and subscribing to me. Your support means a lot, um, and I love when you guys comment um, and let me know what you think and ask me questions, so feel free to do that. Also, if you'd like to work with me, I do energy work, I do spiritual guidance, um, I do card readings, so if that's any, any of those sound like something you'd like to do, um, you can reach out to me on Instagram or my email, um, or you can go to my website at informalinquiry.wordpress.com. So the healing process is not a passive process. It's something that's active. And I'm always looking for tools to sort of help myself grow, help myself heal, and overcome sort of the barriers that I've, that basically have conditioned themselves over my, over my life. And so the Wim Hof Method is one of those tools that I found um, actually on YouTube. And I started doing the Wim Hof Method about two months ago. I did purchase his book, The Wim Hof Method, currently reading it. It's very good. It sort of dives into the, the breathing techniques and the um, the process a little bit more. So um, I would definitely recommend it if you're considering doing the Wim Hof method. Um, and I'm not promoted by Wim Hof or anything. I'm just recommending that. So for people who don't know the Wim Hof method, it's basically a combination of um, breathing technique, um, cold exposure, and mindfulness or in, um, setting intention. And... Um, I don't want to go into detail about that, but basically the the technique is essentially about connecting with your body. Um, it's about developing a relationship with the breath, relationship with the body, and learning how to control your um, response to stress, essentially. So when you're breathing, you're developing your connection with the breath, with yourself, and sort of unlocking different parts of yourself and um, changing your physiology because you're um, getting an increased oxygen level in your body, which actually has some um, some physiological changes that are beneficial. Um, and there's some research in that, and that he talks about that in the book. Um, and then as well as the cold exposure is good for infl inflammation and stuff like that, but I think the main benefit of, of going into the cold um, on a mental health level is being able to control your response to the cold because the cold is a stressor. And so being able to move into your body, move into that, allows you to develop a new relationship with stress and develop a new relationship with the cold. And as you get more comfortable with that, it's easier to go into the cold. It's still cold. Um, <laughs> there's some mornings that I really don't want to go in the cold water, um, but I do anyways because I know it's going to be beneficial for me. And something that I've noticed um, recently, not just with the Wim Hof method, but um, I've also sort of looked up a little bit about Joe Dispenza, and they all talk about intentionality and mindfulness. Um, and what I mean by that is is consciously creating your your conditioning. So we're we're constantly being conditioned, meaning that we're we're put into specific pathways. And unless we realize that we're on a pathway in a specific direction and then um, decide to go a different way, we might stay on that same path for a long time. So we may have a constant um, struggle with anger or frustration. A lot of things frustrate us. And if, if you don't become aware of that at some point and then decide not to get frustrated, change the story around that, and the response to your stimulus, you might be frustrated your whole life. And so part of the reprogramming and the intention um, that Wim Hof talks about, but also Joe Dispenza, which I also have his book, which I plan on reading, um, it's, it's about consciously reprogramming. So essentially after like a meditation with the Wim Hof breathing technique where you're kind of in a calmer state afterwards, it's going in and consciously changing the way you uh, interact with yourself. So... Essentially, you can, you, you basically set an intention of like, um, I want my body to be healed or whatever, but you actually feel your body healed. And so you, you actually create that response of I am healed already. 
and you have to really feel it in your body. And the way Wim Hof talks about it is he says that essentially there's this like understanding or this connection with your body that happens um, when you when you really believe and you really like have that sensation in the body, um, it'll just click and there'll be that trust feeling. Um, and that's sort of when it locks in. And that's that's part of reprogramming, but that's also part of setting goals as part of moving forward. And I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but it's a very powerful practice and I've noticed it make a difference just in the short period of time that I've been doing it. Um, I've had a lot of pain in my body um, for a, a long time. And I think part of it was me not willing to face it and work on it. Um, but I also didn't really have the tools to do that. Um, now I feel like I have more of the tools um, from some of the stuff that I learned from some of the yoga I did in the past, but also moving forward. And this belief sort of structure, this, this trust thing with the body allowed me to sort of unlock that stuckness within me because it allowed me to, to move into identifying with healing and doing a practice of uh, mindfulness for the body, like a yoga practice where I'm actually working with the muscles and stuff. Um, and it's allowed me to get motivated to do that. And I plan on using the restructuring, reprogramming technique for basically everything in my life. I mean, if there's something that I'm trying to change, I'm going to go into that space of, of stillness within me after a meditation or during a meditation and create that feeling of, you know, create that feeling that I want. And some may say this is like the law of attraction, which I guess you could say it is, but I, I don't really like calling it that because it's, to me, the law of attraction is kind of wishy-washy. To me, it's more of like creating a relationship with yourself and creating a result um, and reprogramming your, your sort of your brain, the way you process things. Um, and then in turn, that creates a new result because you are operating on a different level. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. That's kind of what I've learned. Um, so between the breath technique, the cold exposure, and then the meditation mindfulness aspect, all three of them together is really what pulls the whole thing and makes it work. Um, without one of those pieces, it doesn't work as well, um, or it doesn't work at, at all. I don't know, they're still doing research on that, but for me, the three pieces are very important. I really like notice a big difference for sure. Um, feel like I have control of my life rather than just being a passive bystander. So I guess that's all I have to share about that. If there's any questions you have for me, um, put them in the comments below. Um, if you would like to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notifications. And as always, guys, make sure to seek your truth and to take time for yourself. Bye for now.